Hello beautiful Libra, welcome to your highest timeline reading. This is for February the 22nd until um, March the 1st. We're going to be drawing from the Earth Oracle, the Angel Cards, the Ascended Masters, a word from the Good Word, and I drew you a card from the Unicorn, the last Unicorn Tarot. And you Libra got the Nine of Wands. It is in the reverse position. So what this means is the energy of this card is feeling like there may be obstacles in front of you, like it's one obstacle after another, and you're being asked to introduce positive self-talk, to know how strong you are, and to trust that you are on the right path. Libra, what this is saying is that there may be a sense of feeling concerned, like, you know, caring what other people think or say. This card is letting you know those days are gone, Libra. You have nothing to be afraid of. It is time to be your beautiful, strong and authentic, true self and not to worry about what anyone says or thinks because you, Taurus, are, I mean, you, Libra, are strong. Wow. Hmm. Taurus, maybe some of you have Taurus in your chart. But that, you know, Taurus really is the symbol of the bull, that strength as well. So Libra, maybe, maybe it's about, you know, feeling that sense of strength, like you are that strong, you know, energy of that divine feminine, you know, the bull or the, you know, or divine masculine. Feeling your sense of that, you know, grounded feeling to, to remind you of how strong you are. Positive mantras will be really beautiful and healing and helpful for you. I'll put it this way since that's the way it came out. Okay. So from the Earth Oracle, ceremony, invocation, this is exactly about the positive mantras. So Libra, this is about ah, saying, I am strong, I am strong, I am strong, or whatever it is to bring in that positivity for you. I can do this, you know. Invocation is, you know, taking some time to you, lighting a candle, clearing away any negative self-doubt or, you know, things that have held you back. Clearing the space, knowing that you are protected in, div in divine golden light. This ceremony will be so helpful and healing for you. I'm noticing also here the figure of the body. And I really feel like this is about this self-love, this self-acceptance. Really, you know, knowing that you are protected. Loving yourself. Hmm. And the magic of the red candle, very grounding. This is a powerful card, Libra. This is a time of change and transformation. There's going to be really powerful messages and you'll know exactly what to do. From the angel card here, answered prayer. There's a strong connection with spirit. Some of you are um, wanting to sing or to speak your truth or your words. You might be um, writing a song or, you know, sharing a post or there's words that you want to speak directly to God, to your universe, to the cosmos. It's like by using the power of these words through this ceremony, you bring in this answered prayer by literally having that courage and strength to say, I am free. I am free. I am free. From the Ascended Masters. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you are in your magic, Libra. You are calling forth your dreams, wishes, prayers. Wow. Powerful. The spiritual law of attraction is, is you being in your mastery, all the pieces coming together. And this, the Merkaba, it's the complete transformation. It's shaping a new world. The birds here agree. <laughs> It's by you using those words, you are speaking forward your reality, Libra. You are, well, so powerful being so protected and so guided this week. It's amazing. Let's draw a message here from the good word. Whoa. <laughs> you got two. So... The first one says, do nothing from selfishness or conceit, but in humility, right? Because this is not a selfish act. You know, this is not in a vain act. 
It says, but in humility count others better than yourselves. Let each of you look not only to his own interests, but also to the interests of others. Because you being in your higher self is serving others and that's why you're ri rising and raising your heart, your frequency, your love. Because it helps to serve others, knowing your purpose and knowing that this, you know, is in the highest divine order for all. It really brings the power of this manifestation to life. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Wow. There are prayers being answered, Libra, this week. It is so beautiful and it's like magic god the universe everyone is on your side um, this one from luke 137 for with god nothing shall be impossible libra it's like the universe saying yes you can and now you finally know that yes you always had the power what is the wizard of oz you always had the power my dear that just came to mind but the universe is saying yes you can and now you know that yes, oh yes, you can. You got this Libra. Have a beautiful, blessed week. And I so look forward to your next highest timeline reading and your next bonus love reading happening this week as well. I'll see you soon, Libra.